Hello everyone, today I'm going to be making a short video about IC2's power system. Uh, this is specifically for Feed the Beast players. Uh, I was watching Nebris' video and uh, he was making the uh, power plant on the Minecraft Feed the Beast server. And uh, he was running into some power problems and uh, I wanted to make this video to kind of help out anyone who's running into similar situations and heck, maybe if he watches this video uh, he'll be able to see this and maybe it'll help them out too. And uh, so what we have here is a mass fabricator. Now, as you can see, this is just pumping out UU matter, um, and but it's coming off of all this copper cabling, and uh, you might be a bit confused. So let's take a look at how much power is going through this. 3,040 EU a tick. This is copper cabling. Now, if this is shocking you, that's why I'm making this video. A lot of people don't understand that copper cabling's 32 EU a limit is the packet size. Um, this is how big the pulse is. Now, uh, I'll get back to this part in a moment. Now, all your uh, power things that generate power, they generate it in ticks. So as you can see, this generates 512 EU a tick. And this is going into all of these MFSUs. And these also generate 512 EU a tick. Um, but how am I getting 3,000 EU tick over there on copper cabling? It's these low voltage transformers and medium voltage transformers. What happens here is I'm running all my MFSUs in parallel, which means that all their power is being outputted onto the same line. This is a big mistake I see people doing where they'll break this, for instance, and they're going to put an MFSU right here in the way. And this bottlenecks all the power that can come out here and a lot of people do this with MFEs is a big issue MFEs can only put out 128 and so when you get down to all your machines they all have to share that 128 limit as you can see this is only getting 500 now uh, this is because of the copper cabling it's actually inefficient for this but it was just to show it off so uh, you don't actually ever want to use power sources in like a uh, power storage I should say in between your main power storage, which should all be in parallel like this, and your your actual machines, unless you absolutely need to. And there are some situations where you need to, um, specifically early on with copper cabling and such, because it has a, a limit of how far it travels before it loses power, and you can lose a lot of power that way. But later into the game, a lot of people don't realize that uh, you kind of have to change your tactics. And to me, this is how you should handle late game power management. You should have all of your power sources in parallel and you should feed them out directly to your machines and use actual transformers. For instance, Nebris was having a problem with the macerator. Uh, people, he's worried about them pulling out that transformer upgrade and just destroying the entire area because as soon as you touch this it would just blow up the, transform the whole machine. And uh, with this I can have 16 overclockers in here and it goes without a problem. No problem at all. And this will never blow up, ever. And that's kind of the key point here is uh, by using actual real transformers which are I believe the uh, transformer upgrade which I cannot spell apparently. The transformer upgrade Let's look at the recipe. It takes a medium voltage transformer anyways. So, I mean, all you're really losing is a low voltage transformer and the extra cost. And you don't have to use up an electronic circuit. And a low voltage transformer is super easy to make. And you can convert from high voltage all the way down to low voltage, which is 32 EU a tick, without any loss in power and no danger to your machines exploding. And this is something that I don't think very many people realize in terms of how the uh, IC2 engine handles uh, its power system is the lines in the machines only care about the packet size for their limits. You can put as much power through here. I could have a hundred MFSUs here and run all these things here and uh, just overload this with as much power as possible and it would still run as long as I convert it properly. Now you might know this that this is a huge wall of converters and you might be going why is there so much here? Well that's because uh, low voltage transformers and medium voltage transformers they can only change one pulse per tick 
And so that would mean that one of these can only at best output a 512 pulse into a four medium pulses, which is 128, in one tick, which would limit the line. So basically, I have to use multiple of these. I'm using six. I could technically use up to eight since I have eight MFSUs in each of these process 512 a tick. And then I have to use 24 of these because each time it breaks a 512 um, pulse down to four 128 pulses, I now need four more blocks to handle each pulse individually because they can only do one pulse per tick. And so that's kind of roughly how the power system works is they let out a pulse of 512 EU every tick. And there can be as many pulses along the line as you can put in there as long as none of them have a greater magnitude than that 512. And then we handle those pulses with these and each of these can only handle one so we need multiple of it. And uh, so as you can see this can quickly get pretty crazy um, if you're like trying to you know actually convert all the way down to 32 EU for uh, an entire power grid. But when you really think about it, it's actually not that crazy um, of a system. And this whole setup right here handles 3,072 EU if you use glass fiber cable rather than crappy copper. I just use copper to show that you can. Um, and that's actually a lot. And you could just hide this you know, underground or something and then run just a glass fiber cable up to your base and everyone could plug every machine into it from a mass fabricator to a macerator and there would never be any risk of explosions. They would all always get as much power as they need. And uh, this is a really good way of handling your power system in the later tiers of industrial craft. And this includes late tech grig um, tech mod. So uh, I hope this video was useful to some people. Uh, I just wanted to show this off after uh, watching them uh, make the uh, power plant on the Minecraft Feed the Beast server. I'm going to end this video now and I hope that you guys have learned something from this. And uh, maybe even Nevers will see this video and uh, try using this system out. Thank you.